This is a human thing. We only like to learn a little bit of a song. We can't be bothered. Yeah. The American National Anthem, I've noticed, is a bit hazy in the middle. Because <laughs> you start strong and you finish strong, but the middle bit's a bit... And fish in the sky And a big monkey pie I've seen guys up there halfway through just losing it What the fuck is it? I came second, I'm from Turkey, I don't know Do you want some furniture? But in Britain, we don't win many gold medals at the Olympics Because we've chosen not to it's a political statement, because we hate our national anthem. Because it's God Save the Queen, you see. God Save the Queen. Now, the Queen lives in a very big house. She has barbed wire outside and people with guns in front of that. That's one saved fucking queen, I tell you. <laughs> That's the problem. She's overly saved. She has no idea of the struggle of human existence. We have to work for a living, raise a family. We don't have nannies all running around the place. It's, it's what you've got to do in your life. You know, and so it's, God save the Queen, no, it's too saved, it's God attack the Queen, that's what it should be. <laughs> God attack the Queen, send big dogs after her, that bite her bum. Let them choke off her and rip her knickers. That'd be fantastic, then she'd have to fight the crazy dog with a, with a handbag with a brick inside it. Crazy dog, crazy dog. Arr, kill the Queen, no, crazy dog. And maybe she'd kill the crazy dog, and everyone in, in Britain would go, hell, yeah, fair play to the Queen, kill the crazy dog. And the Queen would go, have, she would have self-respect for the first time in her life. <laughs> yes, it would work, it'd be fantabulous. But in America, you do win the gold medal, I've seen it at the Olympics. You stand there, hand on the heart. You're, you and the Roman Empire are the only people who've ever done that, so be very careful. Because <laughs> you are the new Roman Empire, you realise that. And there's no one else going. Because <laughs> the other big power is, of course, China, but they're a bit of a... Uh, Oh, kind of thing, you know. You know, a thousand million, a thousand million, but they're all a bit, you know, just getting ready. And you're, you're the Roman Empire, yeah. So you've got vomitariums and orgies to look forward to. <laughs> Let the president lead the way. Because <laughs> no one cares in America, and, oh, I don't know. Anyway, in, in Europe, we're just watching you going, what are you doing? <laughs> Because in France they wouldn't care, and in Britain they would get shot. You know, the, you know if, if, the if the Prime Minister had done something, then everyone would go... Oh, <coughs> Can the government say what is happening on the recent affair by the Prime Minister? Well, the government would like to say... <coughs> Thank you. But you do sing the national anthem. I've seen you sing the national anthem, and I've worked out how to do it. If, you look, if you're lost in the middle of it and you're singing the words, you know, because the tannoy systems at big stadiums, you know, it doesn't matter. Wherever you're singing it, all that people care about is, is the look, because there's figures on this. 70% of what people react to is the look. You know, it's how you look, and there's about 20% is how you sound, and only 10% is what you say. So if you look good and sound good, just up there going, <laughs> big mouth, the eyes, you said, and keep confirming and denying things. 